This is Da Vinci, and he bought Bitcoin when it was one dollar. I'm hoping that every single one of you buys one dollar worth of Bitcoin. Just one freaking dollar. Still not no, they're not, but you're gonna listen after you watch this video. Ten years ago, Bitcoin cost one dollar. And if you bought ten thousand dollars of Bitcoin back then, right now it'd be worth two hundred and thirty million dollars. Now the man we're about to meet today is called Da Vinci, and he made a video nine years ago begging people to buy Bitcoin for one dollar. Just one freaking dollar, because you're going to be thanking me. Ninety percent of you are not going to buy even one dollar worth of Bitcoins for what reason? I have no idea. Now to go to his house, I'm meeting one of my friends, Carl, who does have a Bugatti, who is also a crypto investor, and we're going to go to his house and check out how he lives. Alright, we just made it to, to Da Vinci's villa. Alright, I'm super excited guys. This is the man that told everyone to buy Bitcoin at one dollar. One dollar, that's crazy. He's the first person to ever make videos about Bitcoin on YouTube. Hey! hey. Alright, welcome to the crib. Yeah, exactly. This is Da Vinci. He bought Bitcoin at one dollar. Not many people did that. I'm not gonna say that I got lucky, actually, because a lot of people say that. Because I was uh, working on building something similar, right, in the mm -hmm. back of them, and I was studying monetary history, and I learned how our money works, and it's basically big fraud. But this is your villa, bro. Yes, yes. Let's take a look at my villa. Bro, All right. You're doing, you're doing incredibly well. Let's head over to my office slash gym. All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> yeah. This is the office. Slash workout mm -hmm. area. How do you how do you operate every day? You sit here. What do you do? Well, here this is this is my gaming slash. Oh, this is this is you. <laughs> yes, you need, my. To, you need to take that home. Da Vinci accepted an, an award for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the first setup in the house. So this is where you operate every day. Mm -hmm. What what do you look for? Well, I'm looking for trades here right now. Where we're seeing Bitcoin breaking out finally over here, and you see Ethereum also breaking out as well. So when Bitcoin was at one dollar. Is this a similar chart that you were looking at? Uh, yeah, but, but a lower price. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have trading view for Bitcoin. No way. Actually, back then when it was a dollar. In fact, there was no charts at all. How did you find Bitcoin? Well, one of my subscribers on YouTube, right? I have a channel called DaVinciJ15, right? Make sure you head over there. Go subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, basically, they, they sent me a message and they said, DaVinci, what do you think about Bitcoin? So I went to the website and I'm looking at it and I'm like, digital cash? That's a scam. That's not possible. I've tried to developed this before and it's not it's just you can't do it you can't have a digital asset that can't be copied well satoshi saw that oh. i was quite surprised and impressed and i thought i was going to be the hero of my gold and silver community i thought oh wow everybody's gonna appreciate that they're gonna be able to buy something every once in a while something comes along that you can buy really really cheap and be super rich one day and you bought it yeah i bought some but the thing is it was really difficult to buy some back then and in order to have a wallet there was only one wallet back then so i ended up actually holding holding Bitcoins for some of the people who are watching my YouTube channel. But most of them actually sold around $40, $50. Oh. Yes. <laughs> so you try to develop something like Bitcoin? Yes, exactly. Th there are speculations out there that Da Vinci might be Satoshi Nakamoto. And if I was, I wouldn't tell you. Of course he wouldn't tell you. <laughs> so he denies those rumors. But actually, many things check out here. First of all, he was the first person to ever speak about Bitcoin on YouTube. Um, he was already trying to build something like Bitcoin. You're a computer programmer, like a complete genius. Yes, and I studied monetary history. Exactly, so everything checks out. Are you now trying to say you are or are not Satoshi? I don't understand. I'm not Satoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die, so no. So are you the Satoshi? No. So you're denying it. <laughs> <laughs> and if he was, you'd deny it. Alright, so anyways, now that we've seen this setup, guys, let's take you to the secret room. Okay, so this is Lapis Zuli. This is a, this blue stone. It's found in Chile. And yeah, this whole globe is made out of this stone. And each of these uh, countries are made out of stones that are located in that country. The, the question I have right now, why is it round? Well, it's supposed to be flat, but you know. <laughs> yeah, the earth is flat, right? <laughs> exactly. All right, so the next thing, guys, I saw is something very interesting over here. Now, at first, it looks like pyramids, but no, this is something very unique. Yeah, these are crystal pyramids that that are chimes which remove bad energy. So here. 
You are now free. All the bad energy is gone, right? Now, right. guys, moving on, we have the sitting area. Yes, this is my chess board. You guys play chess? I play chess. All right, we're gonna play around the chess then. We play chess, and whoever wins gets a Bitcoin. Yeah, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Every time I come to Da Vinci's house, he gives me caviar. This is really cool. This is caviar cones. So nice. I think you and me are quite addicted actually. Last time you ordered caviar, you ordered three kilos. Mm -hmm. How much yeah, is three so kilos of caviar? $9,000. Wow. That's a very expensive salad. That's quite expensive, yeah. It tastes like cheese. No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. Me neither. Ah. <laughs> We're like offended. <laughs> I'm having some caviar. What's your favorite piece here? My favorite piece is the gold. Oh wait, this is gold coins. Yes, this is from China. These are pandas, gold pandas. There's one flag there, what is that? Well, it's actually two flags. There are two Trinidadian flags, right? And actually that's where I was born. It's a small island off the coast of Venezuela. Now we know Satoshi Nakamoto comes from Trinidad. <laughs> that's yeah. nice. So guys, before we move on, there's one thing you guys need to know about Da Vinci. I love roses, so if you're ever want to get me a gift, give me some roses. It's so romantic. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I know something that you don't know about Da Vinci. He's a very humble guy. He made crazy money. You will not see any Lambos or Ferraris on the driveway. You're way too humble for that. Mm -hmm. But he has one huge weakness, except from the caviar. Don Perignon. Yes. No. <laughs> Wow. I, I know for a fact that Da Vinci is spending approximately $30,000 every month on Dom Perignon. Yes, why well, stop doing that? Yeah, yeah. It's it's just now. stop doing that. Yeah. But notice this is not regular Dom Perignon. Regular Dom Perignon is nice. However, it's for the, you know, the cheap ghetto people who can <laughs> This is P2. P2 is a higher level of Dom Perignon. I've never had P3. How much is P3? Well, it's about $5,000 a bottle. Wow. All right, guys, now we're gonna take you upstairs. Come on upstairs to see where the magic happens, right? Here's my studio. Welcome to the studio. Yeah, so we're gonna turn off the light here. Wow. And then you can see how cool it is. But now we're gonna change the colors. Wow. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. Here you have Bitcoin and all of these very, very important literature about Bitcoin. I would say this one, for everyone who wants to know more about Bitcoin, they should read the Bitcoin standard. And the next big book, which is a little bit harder to read. Wow, this one is crazy. But this is also about the, the banking system. Mm -hmm. And you learn that it's an actual cartel. What is going on here? This is where you live stream or something? Yeah, exactly. So uh, basically you can see Right there, I have uh, my screen where I'm, I'm looking at this camera. So this is where he live streams. You got a cool painting behind. I love that there's Bitcoin everywhere, you know? Uh, whenever somebody's sitting here, a guest is sitting here, he can actually see what's on my screen. Wait, this and is a I, screen or a... It's, it looks like a painting, doesn't it? <laughs> Wait, that's a, that's a screen? That's a screen, yes. I thought it was a painting. <laughs> I'm so shocked it's not a painting. Oh, mm -hmm. it's definitely not a painting now. So yeah, this is how I present it so that, uh, you know, if there's a guest here, <laughs> you can see the numbers. Right? Can you see the numbers over there? I see the numbers. Clear right now. <laughs> exactly. Question: What's the prediction for Bitcoin? My prediction for Bitcoin is in the next three to four years, we're going to see Bitcoin well over a hundred thousand, probably around the quarter of a million dollar mark. Bitcoin is like electricity. When we invented electricity, a lot of people thought it was just a toy for the rich. Use this. Uh, they didn't see any potential beyond lights. Oh. Today, we have Bitcoin. It's the first type of money that we've ever had in the history of mankind that it can actually be owned by a thing. Meaning your computer could own the money, your uh, robot could own the money, your fridge could own the money. So the use cases are unbelievable. You could have a car that goes and works for you, picks up people and pays you. I never thought about that. Just like electricity, when electricity was invented and they thought it was only gonna be good for lights, once it became prevalent through everybody's house, then came washing machine, refrigerators, things that no one could have imagined. Do you think the people who invented electricity thought this would exist? Bam! <laughs> well said. You know what he said? He said when we invented Bitcoin. He said? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> First time. This is the royal we. 
Yeah. <laughs> the royal week. I heard you have gold coins up here. Yes. Ooh. Let's take the a look at the most beautiful ones in the yes. world. All right. The most beautiful gold coins. We're going to go check out some gold coins right now, guys. All right. Your camera's going to have to look away because I'm going right. to say. <laughs> look at me. Look at me. Focus here. Here we go. So in here, I have a bunch of gold coins, right? So you love gold. Guys, this yes. is amazing. Look at this. Oh, wow. This I is silver. silver. I love silver this more is silver. than gold. Guys, this, yes. this safe is filled with gold and silver coins. Exactly. And we're going to take you to see the most beautiful coin in a second. That's but actually, Da Vinci yeah. sold most of his exactly. uh, physical gold and silver to buy Bitcoin a few yes. years ago. Yes, to buy, no, actually I bought uh, Ethereum. Over here, I keep my most special gold, right here. Oh, wow. Right beside my watches and stuff is this Bitcoin oh, wow. gold. But wait, there's more. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> uh, yes. We have Bitcoin on one side, and this is full gold, by the way. This is 99.99 fine gold, and then the moon. Wow. Which is actually my logo to my YouTube channel, and I gave them to Da Vinci. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is gold Bitcoin coins. This over here, these are my servers here. I have a NAS with 72 terabytes of drive space. Ooh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> and that's solid state, by the way. And then I have three servers here running multiple applications, Bitcoin, a Lightning Network. I have Ethereum running nodes. What's that do? Well, basically they help um, protect the network. Did you know that, Carl? Uh, no, but I know that the earth is flat. What the fuck is this doing here? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, I'm generally worried now. Is that a joke or not? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believed you guys too far for a second. <laughs> Allow the audience to decide. Comment down below. Exactly, I want to know. Guys. <laughs> guys. Okay, all, all, my, all my food, so this is emergency food supply. Wow. Oh, <laughs> yes. Because, guys. Because um, I'm, people could call me a bunker. Did you freak out in March 2020? No. I started this way back in 20, 2008. I did this mm. before 2008. I started collecting a bunch of uh, freeze-dried food. It doesn't matter if, if I don't use it. It's like, for example, did you buy insurance? Yeah. Yes, do you buy insurance? Mm, I for your, guess so, your yeah. car, right? Yeah. So, do you want to use your car insurance ever? Do you like? Oh, I gotta, I gotta buy car insurance. So I have to use it. No, you don't want to have to use it. You you want to have it there just in case something bad happens. Well, that's what all this food is for. <laughs> that's crazy. Then now everyone knows where to take your guns <laughs> and knock on the door and say, "I want your food, bro." I got guns too. Uh, <laughs> so I have solar panels. You have right? solar panels. Right, so they can charge my stuff, right? Uh, I also have like something to filter the water, so I can convert uh, salt water to regular fresh Da Vinci, stuff. you are one of one in this world. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that has been Da Vinci's house tour in the life of Da Vinci. Honestly, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for coming over, appreciate it. This man is a genius. Oh really, you think so? All right, we're out.